These videos are intended to be used to complement the instruction of this subject by classroom teachers as a teaching aid, by independent learners as a review tool to enhance and improve the understanding of these topics, resulting in improved performance in CSEC examinations. Segment 1. Different Types of Windows and Doors Introduction Windows and doors are normally the last set of building components to be installed. These can have important influences on the appearance and security of a building, both with respect to their shape and the materials used to make them. Even though windows and doors are similar in their functions, there are differences in their construction and installation. What is a door? Let us first look at doors. A door is always seen at the front of a building. It acts as a means of entering or exiting a building and spaces within the building. It is usually attached to a frame on one side by hinges. Performance standards of doors. For access alone, a doorway or opening in a wall or partition will be sufficient. A door is used as a barrier, which can be opened for access and closed for privacy. A door, depending on its type, should meet certain standards. 1. Weather resistant. External doors need a minimum gap of 2 mm for free movement. This gap should be sealed with suitable water extruders to make the door weather resistant. Security. The security of a door depends on the materials used, the quality of the frame and the ironmongery. Internal doors only need to provide minimum security. For example, a bathroom door might be fitted with a simple lock. External doors need to be constructed to specifications and fitted with security locks. 3. Fire resistant. Internal doors that separate spaces are usually made of materials that prevent the rapid spread of fire. These usually are also heavy enough to be self-closing. 4. Sound insulation. Both internal and external doors should provide some degree of sound insulation. 5. Privacy. Solid doors are the most private. If some light is needed while retaining privacy, then a section of glass should be fitted. 6. Operation. Doors can swing and slide to open and close. Most doors swing on hinges fixed to door frames. We normally open doors with knobs or levers. 7. Durability. Doors are in constant use. Their construction should be strong enough to withstand considerable activity. External doors should be able to resist climatic extremes, which can cause the shape to warp. Parts of a standard door. The main parts of a door are as follows. Frame, a solid timber or metal structure fixed to a wall. It is constructed so that it forms a seal when the door closes and support the door's weight. Header, a horizontal piece at the top of a door. Jam, the vertical part of the frame that is fixed to the wall. Stop, a thin piece fixed to the head and jams of the lining to form a rebate. Threshold, the access section in the doorway where you enter and exit. Types of doors. Doors can be classed as external or internal. This classification is further broken down as swinging, sliding, revolving, and folding doors. External doors are usually thicker and more robust in design than internal doors and are normally constructed from wood, steel alloys, or aluminium. On the other hand, internal doors are normally made from wood or fiber plastic. Batten doors. Battened doors can be of two types, ledge braced and battened, and ledge frame braced and battened. These are the simplest forms of doors and are normally used on informal structures such as barns and sheds. 
Paneled doors. Panel doors consist of vertical members called styles and horizontal members called rails. Styles and rails form the framework into which panels are inserted. Additional vertical members called muntins are used to divide the door into any number of panels. Panels may be solid wood, plywood, particle board, or louvered, or have glass inserts. Flush doors. Flush doors have flat surfaces on both sides and consist of a wood frame with thin sheets of material, plywood veneer, plastic laminates, hardboard or metal applied to both faces. Flush doors have either a solid or a hollow core. Solid core doors provide better sound insulation and have fewer tendencies to warp. Hollow core doors have a lightweight core made of various materials that are covered with layers of veneer. They are usually used as interior doors and are less expensive to produce. Industrial doors. These doors are usually classified by their method of operation and construction. There is a very wide range of doors available and the choice should be based on the following considerations. 1. Movement, vertical or horizontal. 2. Size of opening. 3. Position and purpose of door or doors. 4. Frequency and opening and closing of the doors. 5. Manual or mechanical operation. 6. Thermal and or sound installation requirements. 7. Fire resistance requirements. What is a window? Now that we have looked at doors, let us look at windows. Windows provide natural light and ventilation to the interior of a building, while excluding rain and insects. Functional requirements of windows. A window must be aesthetically acceptable in the context of building design and the surrounding environment. However, providing aesthetics to a building is not the sole purpose of windows. They provide a point of entry for natural light and allows for the circulation of air. Windows must also be strong enough to resist wind pressure. Due to these functional requirements, windows must therefore have a minimum area of 10% of the floor area. Types of windows. Windows are divided into the following categories. 1. Fixed light. These are normally used in conjunction with other types. 2. Side hung. These have hinges on one side and the fastening catch on the other. 3. Top hung. These have hinges on the top and the fastening catch on the other. 4. Bottom hung. These have hinges on the bottom and the fastenings catch on the other. 5. Horizontal pivot. Usually pivoted horizontally in the middle and free to swing in either direction. 6. Vertical pivot. Usually pivoted vertically in the middle and free to swing in either direction. 7. Horizontal sliding. These types slide horizontally in grooves on the frame of the window. 8. Vertical sliding. These types vertical sliding in grooves on the frame of the window. 9. Louvers. These are individual pieces of wood, metal, glass or plastic held in place by clips and opened by a lever arm, which locks the louvers in position. Window height. Windows may be custom made or standard. Custom made means that the window is designed for a specific building. Standard means that a manufacturer produces a range of windows to fit typical window openings. The most practical height ranges from 600 mm to 1,200 mm. Other factors that influence the height are 1. The requirement for security. Small windows are more secure. 2. Heat gain. Heat from surrounding surfaces enters through a window. 3. Glare. The intensity of the light entering from the outside may need to be restricted. Let's break for a short quiz. Answer the following questions. 1. 
Give the correct definition for a door. Two, list five performance standards for doors. Three, state three functional requirements for windows. Four, what are the factors that determine the height of a window?